Hello there ladies and gents and welcome back to another Destiny 2 weekly reset video. My name is Story and today is July 23rd. This means only one thing. We're running up until the 30th. So it's 23rd of July up until the 30th of July. What is going on Destiny? Let's have a look then without further ado. This is your tower map. For any newcomers to the game, this is where you'll find lots of vendors and bounties. Bounties are quite important in the world of Destiny because you complete them and you'll get some loot. Loot is what we all crave and what we play for. Of course, laughs with friends and experiences and shooting all the aliens in the face. But anyway, this is the tower map, various vendors to visit. Uh, I don't cover all of them, but we do cover most of the important ones. For example, Guardian of All, a vendor challenge, complete bounties of any type. So the 20 bounties of any type will get you some powerful loot from Ikora. That's right there, so you can monitor that. If you're in a clan, you can earn 5,000 XP and get some powerful loot. It's very, very simple. If you visit this guy here, uh, Werner99, um, or yes, that's his name, and you uh, pick up his um, bounties and they will award you a treasure, treasure chest map. So then you can go and find that chest, open it, and that will get you some powerful loot. Uh, four of those will get you even more powerful loot right there. It monitors it just there. I haven't been bothered to complete these. As you can see, that one has been there for a couple of weeks now. Then we've got Ada. If you do two of her weapon frames, then um, you'll get some powerful armor. So if you're chasing armor specifically, then that's a, that's a good one to keep your eye on. Anyway, let's begin with the um, destinations. If we go on over to our director screen, it's right here. We begin with the Vanguard playlist, which starts with daily heroic story missions. Complete three of these and you will get some powerful loot. Uh, the modifiers are Arc Singe. Uh, that is for the week. Um, that will uh, refresh next Tuesday's reset. And then there's some daily modifiers here, which is Blackout and Grenadier. Um, there are five daily uh, heroic story missions to choose from, and these will also rotate on the daily reset nice okay then we've got our strikes there's also a daily here complete a strike that will get you powerful loot and then the weekly complete strikes using the same subclass element as the currently active elemental burn so that it this week is arc and uh, there you go then we've got nightfalls which is a harder version of these strikes and each nightfall has some strike specific loot to chase the more you play the nightfall over and over again the higher the chances are that you'll get this very precious drop so we've got we supposedly got three nightfalls to choose from but uh, i appear to see another bug you know, so um, there's some more bugs on the API. It says we have the Pyramidian, which would be not there. <laughs> then there would be Savathun Song, which is there and Strange Terrain, which is there. So um, I'm, I'm, I have to put this video out. So uh, you're going to have to double check this when you obviously go in to choose your Nightfall. But I'm going to cover all the strike specific loot just in case. OK, so uh, we've got the Corrupted, which is uh, the Horrors Lease Pulse Rifle. The Strange Terrain is the Braytec Osprey Rocket Launcher. We've got the Tree of Probabilities, which is the DFA Hand Cannon. And then the Savathun Song is the Duty Bound Auto Rifle. Garden World, I believe, is Electromatica Ghost Shell. It's either a ghost shell or a sparrow. My memory fails me, but I do apologize. There you go. That's a strike specific loot and all the bugs in the nightfall. Yes. Okay, moving on, we've got um, Gambit. This is the Gambit playlist. There is a bunch of activities. First, there's the Reckoning, which is a one to four player cooperative PVE player versus environment um, shenanigan. Uh, and if you do a lot of this, then you'll get some powerful gear. The progress bar is there, 100% worth. It's probably about three or four uh, tier three runs will get you some powerful loot because they come in tiers, you see. You've got tier one, tier two, and tier three. These are the Reckoning recommended power levels that you should uh, get to before entering those and um there you go there are separate modifiers for the reckoning this week we've got arc singe and we've got blackout and grenadier which completely disproves my point but usually these are separate all right then we've got gambit the vanilla flavor stock gambit daily gambit complete a gambit match uh, get yourself some powerful loot th complete three games and get even more powerful loot then there's gambit prime gambit deluxe complete four games of that for yet even more powerful gear and then you've got private matches if you want to go and play your nun at gambit and um, win anyway how about the crucible well 
here it is. This is all player versus player. We have quick play, and then there is rumble, which is uh, every man for himself. Uh, the rotary playlist this week is Iron Banner. Iron Banner returns, and then we've got private matches to play Yunnan, and then competitive. So if you complete the daily or five games of any of this, you get some powerful loot, basically. And we'll look at the Iron Banner vendor in a moment, okay? In the meantime, we're going to have a little look at Mars, because I know you like it warm. And on Mars, there is Escalation Protocol. This is an event that ties in with lots of titles in the game. For example, you need to go and collect various bits of gear. Um, this week, uh, there, there's three weapons, basically. Three weapons to chase in Escalation Protocol. It's a seven-wave activity with a big boss at the end. And um, there are three weapons to chase. This week, it is the shotgun that's dropping. So if you're still after that in your collections, this is the week to get in there and do it. Next stop is the Flashpoint, which happens to be on Nessus. This is another PvE activity. Run around, do these public events, and this will progress towards a um, progress bar here, funnily enough, and that will get you some powerful loot. But don't forget, the first thing that you should do is look for this heroic adventure. This will get you powerful loot and add 35% towards your activities completed progress bar right there. So there you go. That's the Flashpoint, and that's on Nessus this week. Okay, then we've got the Dreaming City. One of my favorite. That was my phone. I do apologize. That's my phone, not yours. So don't go you know, grabbing for your phone. This is the Dreaming City, one of my favourite places, and um, there are a number of activities to do right here. If you go and visit Petra, she'll give you some bounties, and... Um the, they will point you in the direction of earning even more powerful loot. You've got the Ascendant Challenge. She'll give you an Ascendant Challenge bounty, and that is in the Bay of Drowned Wishes this week. It's over there. So hop on over there. Let's have a sip of your tincture of Queen's Fall, and a portal will open up, and you jump in there and complete the challenge. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Anyway, Last Wish Raid has also reset. All the raids have reset. We've even got uh, Crown of Sorrows as well, which is reset. And um, uh, the Leviathan. Speaking of Leviathan, we're going to hop on over to the vendor and see what armor is available from him at this present moment. And then we'll wrap up the video by going to Eververse. I also like to visit the gunsmith because he has uh, bounties now. I'm still getting used to this. I enjoy these bounties because they award you with mod components components which you'll need and enhancement cores which you'll very much need so there are also gear mods available he has one armor mod one weapons mod and these reset on the daily reset so today's menu is the impact mod which increases melee regeneration speed and a targeting adjuster this weapon gains better target acquisition i don't have many of those so i'm going to uh, do that and buy those uh, we're going to hop on over to werner uh, werner 99 or benedict 99 and see what the leviathan raid stock is here he is benedict 99 with his big red nose it's not even christmas yet you've got these are your bounties that will get you those um powerful rewards as well as the treasure maps that will get you more powerful rewards isn't that great anyway the gear he's got this week is the eater of worlds helmet the eater of world worlds gauntlets the standard leviathan completion chess piece and then the eater of War world's boots and then the spire of stars class item and its dead back sword isn't that absolutely beautiful now we're going to wrap up the video by hopping on over to eververse and perusing the stock bust open your purse spend all your cash at eververse here we go ladies and gents this is what's on offer this week of course you can purchase things for bright dust and you can purchase things for silver which in actual fact is real money um, we've got the uh, sabrage salute emote for a thousand silver so we're popping off a bottle cap and probably having a wee sip of that. Oh no, we don't care about just drinking. Uh, then we've got Baron Ways to Weapon Ornament for Arbalest. Um, exotic Linear Fusion. There's a Quick Hug emote. There's the Braytrek Dreams Sparrow. I quite like the look of this one. I think I'm going to have that for myself. It's quite Matrix, isn't it? And then we've got Discourage Player emote. And then there's a Best of Year 1 Engram. I do apologise to my phone again. Um, I'm all of a sudden popular. Um, and then we go we've got the seasonal offerings as well these are all the ornaments that are available this season they don't go away until next season I presume so you can go and buy these for real silver and in some cases you can actually wait until they turn up for example I rushed and bought this shotgun one at one point when you can just wait because look 
it is available to buy for Bright Dust right here and now. So you can save your money. So you don't have to spend real money if you don't want to. You just have to wait and be patient. But that's the seasonal stuff. And you can have that at any time that you like for real cash. Uh, then there is the archive. These are bundles that uh, represent previous exclusive offers that you can still pick up as well. And then there's another Bright Dust section here. Uh, for example, I don't have this Titan ornament for the Synthoseps. Um, I, I could have spent real money on it, but now you can buy it, look, for your Bright Dust collection. Then there is the Intrepid Discovery Cloak, the One Fell Swoop Exotic Sparrow. Very crazy kind of business right there. I think I might have to buy that for myself as, as well. I don't think I have that. Oh, then there's the Consult the Archives for Bright Dust, the Law emote um i don't have that either so i'm gonna take that it's 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 a bargain everything's a big bargain today then we've got the night watch ornament insomnia upgrade your night watch and make it look very nice indeed and then there's the intrepid exploit gauntlets for titans uh, and the parthenon projection for, that's a ghost projection we've also got some boons here that boost um uh, rewards in Crucible and in the Vanguard playlists, as well as XP gains and loot for your members of the fire team. Uh, there's also some um, trans mass effects, which you can apply to ships. So when you spawn in, those effects will apply. And there's some shaders and your weekly bounties for Eververse. These are good to pick up because these will award you with bright dust and also um, contribute to your uh, 20 bounties for Ikora. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything in Destiny 2 this week. Apps have an absolutely monumental week in Iron Banner. Oh, speaking of Iron Banner, I nearly forgot. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. I don't think there's going to be much different in comparison to last Iron Banner. Yeah, you just got bounties. Bounties to do to chase uh, bits of armor and a triumph. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, and 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 yeah, so you've got all the loot. You can see that in your collections. If you go to armor and competitive, you should be able to see. Yeah, there it is. There's the stuff for the warlocks. There it is for the hunters. This is what it looks like this time around. And you can apply, apply all the old ornaments to that as well. And um, there is a triumph uh, or a previous bounty um, to complete. I think I still have that in my pursuits. For example, I picked it up from him last time, which would be there. Um, that is the quest step to get all the bits of armor, and that's what you'd follow, and you'd pick that up from this gentleman here. There you go. Nearly forgot it. Have an absolutely fantastic week in Destiny. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and remember, Smokers a Kipper will be back for breakfast.